All right, so we're back and I finished her hair. We are preparing for a party, so we had to take a break. But I will say that it takes less time to dry her hair because once we sat back down, it took me about uh, 15 minutes. So all in all, it took me about maybe 15, maybe 20 minutes to dry her hair. And um, it came out straight, which is what the ends are straight, which is good. Uh, she has about like a 4C hair. Her hair is really tight and curly. Uh, but I could be wrong. But anyway, so she has really thick hair. So it came out in a way that I like it. All I have to do is add some more, some oil to it, brush it, get the edges together, which is great. I have a few observations. Um, one observation is that I love the machine. I think it's great. Once you get the hang of it, we had to find our sweet spot. We found it after the second um, section. So I would suggest that uh, you section the hair, especially if you're working with thick hair like hers, section the hair maybe in small quarters like that or small pieces like that. I will say also read the manual because the manual gives you good information. I know that people are anxious to put it together. It's really easy to put together and then start trying it. But take your time, read the manual because the manual breaks down the hair type and the amount of seconds it takes to dry the hair, which is great. Also, another thing, it's a loud machine, but it's okay. I mean, it worked for me. I was very happy because all I had to do was slide her hair in it and just uh, move it around, and then it dried the roots, which is good. And the whole purpose of the Rev Air is so that it's considered as a uh, reverse air, so it straightens the hair from the, from the ends to the roots, which is fine with me because I protected it with the conditioner and the oil. Another observation is that it's important to section it properly because if you don't, and the section is too large, your uh, Rev Air has sensors in it, and if it's too large, the sensors will be activated and the machine will go off. So if it goes off, as it says in the manual, just sort of make the section smaller and then try again. It should be fine with that. Uh, anything else? Um, I think that it's a great machine, especially if you're working with kids' hair who are tender-headed like my lovely one here. That's why I said I don't like doing it because I hate to induce pain and she doesn't like me doing her hair. But today, it went really, really well. She didn't feel any heat when I had to enhance the heat. She felt, she just felt as though there was nothing going on, which is great. But again, I think it's a wonderful machine. It is big, it's quite costly, but I think that it will more than likely pay for itself, especially, like I said, if you have to deal with um, hair like I work with. So that's my um, review of the Rev Air. I think it's a wonderful machine, just like everyone else says, especially for young people who, uh, young kids' heads. And it doesn't apply much damage on it. You don't keep it on as long. You're not pulling and tugging on it with a hair dryer, as some people will do to dry it out um, because she goes to a salon sometimes. But with the Rev Air, I think that might be cut down a little bit, especially for special occasions because I like it to be curled. But otherwise, I'm rambling on and I hate people who ramble on in YouTube videos. So. That's my review. Uh, if you can get a Rev Air, it will more than likely pay for itself. Like I said, it's not cheap. I bought it on Cyber Sunday, Cyber Monday, like I said, for about um, over $200, closer to $300, but the machine is closer to $400. So, um, but it's worth it. So, um, if you like, uh, subscribe, and uh, that's about it. Thanks, and enjoy your Rev Air, and thanks for checking out my review.